Hi guys, welcome to Simplifying Tech and Programming. So in today's session, we are going to check how we can install and configure uh, IntelliJ IDEA IDE on Windows machine. So basically, this question comes into every developer's mind that there are multiple integrated development environments are available in to develop the Java and advanced Java code. So there are multiple options available like uh, the Eclipse is a traditional one. Then uh, we have like uh, STS also, Spring Tool Suit. We have IntelliJ IDEA also, we have NetBeans also, and we have latest uh, VS Code also, Oracle J Developer also. So, so which which one we have to choose? So that depends on uh, the area you are more focusing on. Suppose you are more interested into plugins and uh, that kind of stuff, so you can use uh, IntelliJ IDEA, or uh, you can uh, suppose like uh, you want to go with the basic flow of code, then you can use the Eclipse and uh, suppose you want to integrate different languages other than java into one id then you can go for vs code so in that way like uh, we can choose this uh, id so in today's session like we are going to check uh, differences between this uh, intellij and uh, eclipse so i'm referring this uh, website so eclipse is developed by ibm and uh, intellij is developed by jetbrains okay so both are both are having this uh, free and public license and intellij is having the commercial license also so pro programming language supported so eclipse has wide variety of supported languages while uh, IntelliJ IDEA is also having the wide variety of languages. So there are different uh, versions available into Eclipse and IDEA. Then Web ID is available to Eclipse, but it is not available into IntelliJ IDEA. So like this, uh, there are multiple differences are there. So now let's uh, dive in into IntelliJ IDEA download and installation part. So go to your uh, favorite browser and type IntelliJ IDEA download, then add the go to the first link that is for JetBrains. Okay, so here we got into the download page where it is uh, telling that this version is available ultimate and this is the community edition. So this is like a commercial edition. So this is community edition. This is a free and uh, open source. So let's download this community edition. Let's click on download. So downloading is started. So in our case, we have already downloaded this. So let's cancel this and go to the downloaded uh, so this exe is downloaded so just double click on this okay so we got this setup page so let's click on next then uh, it is asking for space required and let's click on next okay so in installation options so we have to choose the relevant option so create desktop shortcut that is fine update context menu yeah this is required then uh, create associations so dot java file we need then update path variable restart needed so that is also required okay so let's say next and let's say install okay so our intellij idea installation is completed so it is asking to reboot the computer so i will choose for now uh, i want to manually reboot later and let's say finish and uh, let's see if yeah so this icon is created so double click on this so it is asking to import the setting so let's say do not import setting for now okay so we have installed this uh, 2022 3.1 version welcome to intellij idea so let's click on uh, new project yeah so one more thing like uh, you need to install the jdk before this id installation so it will automatically detect jdk if it is already installed so in our case we have this uh, jdk 18 so that is detected by him automatically so now project hello world okay and uh, it is asking java asking language as a java build system intelligent and, and let's say create Yeah, so it is created project hello world so it is created this main file double click on this yeah so it is created this uh, sys out also so sample program is ready so here it is uh, so what we are doing so in main method we are printing the hello world okay okay so now i want to compile this and run this so here build the project 
okay so our project build is completed so it is compiled now so ready to run so here you can find this uh, triangle com command in order to run this project so click on this yeah so this is the console we got the response as a hello world so that we have printed here so stay tuned for uh, sessions and uh, thanks a lot for watching